Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 13.3. Um, this is a big math nasty, so we've got uh, equilibrium with salts, find the concentration of ions for salt, find KSP, molar solubilization, and the common ion effect. Basically, I'm going to do a whole bunch of problems with these things, so get your calculators ready and a little extra paper. Dissolving equations for salts. Hopefully you remember from way back when, if something dissolves in water, it turns into its ions. So Ca plus 2 and 2Cl negative. Ions are always aqueous. Kf would turn into K positive plus F negative. What would be the Ksp? So for the first one, um, all right, so the Ksp expression would be Ksp for the first one would be calcium plus 2, oh, not plus, mm -mm -mm -mm, times, whoa, chloride squared. Okay, so that would be the first one. And then the second one, Ksp, would be K positive times F negative. And both those are the first. This one's squared because the chloride is squared because of the coefficient of 2. So CaCl2 has a Ksp of blah, blah, blah. What are the concentration of the ions? So what I'm going to do is what's called an ice diagram. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the dissolving equation. All right, so this is an ice diagram. I, C, E. I stands for initial, or what's the starting amount. C stands for change. And E stands for either equilibrium or the end. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, this is a solid, which is why we don't pay any attention to it. So initially, I'm going to start with some. And I don't care how much because it's a solid. And before any of it dissolves, I have none that dissolved and none that dissolved. The change is going to be minus x. Calcium is going to be plus x. And chloride is going to be plus 2x. Right? I'll get twice as much chloride as calcium. So at equilibrium, I really don't care. Why don't I care? Because it's a solid. This is x, and this is 2x. So my Ksp expression that I had before, Ksp equals calcium ion plus 2 times chloride squared. I now have 1.57 E negative 8 equals x times 2x squared. And 2x squared would be 4x squared times x, which would be 4x cubed equals 1.57 e negative 8. And then x would be um, 1.57 e negative 8 divided by 4. Enter cube root. The way I do a cube root, I, I raise my answer, so I would do caret quantity 1 divided by 3. I know there's other ways to do it, but that's the way that I do it. So I did 1.57 e negative 8 divided by 4, and I got 3.925 e negative 8. So I'm going to take that answer, raise to the quantity 1 divided by 3 quantity, enter. And x equals 0 0.00158 molar. And that would be the concentration of calcium. Chloride would be 2x, which is 2 times that, times 2 which is 0 0.00315 molar. That's it. Magnesium hydroxide is barely soluble in water. MgOH taken twice. Um, not many moles dissolve per one liter solution. What is the OH at equilibrium? What is the, the KSP? So the dissolving equation would be Mg plus 2 plus two OH negatives. Now, it's basically the same type of thing we had last time. But this moles per liter, right? that right there, x, that's how much dissolves. Right? Remember, these things are concentrations. So that's my minus x. So again, make my little ice box here. I'm going to start out with sum, 0, 0. My minus x is minus 5.97 e negative 24. This is going to be plus 5.97 e negative 24. And this is going to be plus 2 times 5.97 e 
e negative 24. And at equilibrium, I don't care because it's a solid. And then this is 5.97 e negative 24. I'm going to actually multiply that by 2. 5.97 e negative 24 times 2 is 1.19 e negative 23. So then my KSP expression is magnesium plus 2 times hydroxide squared. So 5 point, whoops, e negative 24 times 1.19 e negative 23 squared. A little calculator magic. And I should get something really small. 8.51e negative 70. I made this up so the numbers are kind of silly, but that's all right. There you go. Remember, solubility minus. So find the molar solubility of PBCl2 of KSP is 4.1e negative 8. PBCl2's dissolving equation would give me Pb plus 2 plus 2Cl negative. And again, icebox. So I have sum 0, 0, minus x plus x plus 2x. At equilibrium, I don't care, x and 2x. So my molar solubility, which is minus x, right? Molar solubility is minus x. So what are we starting with? So KSP equals Pb plus 2 times chloride negative squared. So x times x, whoops, quantity squared would be 4.1e negative 8 equals 4x cubed. x equals 4.1e negative 8 divided by 4 raised to the quantity 1 divided by 3 quantity x equals 0 0.00217 molar. There's my answer. Molar solubility of KSP is 1 E negative 12. Ag2CrO4 is in equilibrium with Ag positive, but there's two of them, plus chromate. Molar solubility again, remember, is minus x. So start with sum, 0, 0 minus x plus 2x coefficient plus x don't care 2x and x and I think I could probably even do 1e negative 12 equals um, 2x squared times x remember the KSP I should have put this in here before is ag positive squared times chromate Okay, and that should have gone first. So 1e negative 12 is 4x cubed. Maybe. x equals. So 1e negative 12 divided by 4, enter, raised to the quantity 1 divided by 3, quantity 6.29. Uh, 6.30e negative 5 molar. There you go. I have a solution with Ag positive equals blah and chromate equals blah does precipitate form and there's my KSP again. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing a Q. So Q is Ag positive squared times chromate. And we know this because it's the exact same equation that K is. But I've got these particular concentrations. So what I'm going to do is do 2e negative 3 squared times 1.55e negative 2. And see what that is. 2e negative 3 squared times 1.55e negative 2. Enter, and I get 6.2e negative 8, and that equals q. Remember, if q is greater than k, I'm going to write my dissolving equation again. 
Ag2CrO4 is in equilibrium with Ag positive, 2 Ag positive, plus CrO4 negative 2. If Q is greater than K, that means I have too many products. So 6.2 E negative 8 is bigger than 1 E negative 12. So I have too many products. So it's going to shift to the left and make a precipitate. All right. So anytime Q is greater than K, you get a precipitate. All right. Common ion effect. Silver nitrate more or less soluble in a solution of silver acetate or plain water. Do you see how you've got silver here and silver here? Okay. It would be less soluble because a common ion decreases solubility. Is a potassium chloride solution more soluble in a solution of potassium nitrate, sodium chloride, or ammonium fluoride? So I'm looking for potassium, uh, let me change my color and be all techno, chloride. Do you see how the first one has potassium? So probably not that one. The other one has chloride, and ammonium fluoride has nothing. So what would it be most soluble in? The one that doesn't have any um, ions, which would be ammonium fluoride. Review. Be able to do ice diagrams. Should be able to do those pretty easily now. Minus x is the molar solubility. That's important to know. Coefficients are important. They determine exponents, and they also determine is it minus x, is it plus x or plus two x or plus three x, etc. And common ion reduces the ability to dissolve, and that's Le Chatelier's principle. And that's it. We're out of here in 12 and a half. I'll see you on Friday. Toodle.